What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing something that is going to be taking place in a couple days now. Everyone knows we've been talking about it the last freaking couple months, I feel like. It, it seems like we have been on this topic for a very long time now. But what we're discussing today, guys, is New York Toy Fair coming this Saturday, February 22nd, 2020. Very exciting time, if you guys don't know. New York Toy Fair is where a bunch of vendors, or, or I don't even know what you call them, them. Toy creators, all figure creators alike across all brands will come together, sort of like San Diego Comic Con a little bit, you know, very big media type coverage. We're going to have a ton of stuff going on, tons of vendors, tons of stuff being shown off. You know, I'm, I'm talking all across the board from all action figure communities, not only the WWE wrestling community, but we have New York Toy Fair 2020. And today we're going to discuss everything that we know about New York Toy Fair 2020. So we know what we're going to see, we know all of that, you know. I've, I've covered, you know, what it, figures that we expect to see, the figures that we will see, but I'm going to cover everything that we know. I'm talking about everything wrestling figure related that we know already heading into New York Toy Fair, and I'm sure that we'll get a couple surprises here and there as well as these things that we're going to cover here today in this video, but this is everything that we know regarding New York Toy Fair 2020. Very exciting stuff. Again, Mattel's going to be in action. We got Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares. If you guys missed the video on yesterday about the announcement and the revealing of the images of All Elite Wrestling's WWE, WWE figures, All Elite Wrestling's wrestling figures, then definitely go check that out. They look absolutely terrific, and we're going to show them in this video as well again. So if you guys missed that, uh, definitely go check out all of those images, and then some of them will be in this video. But let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. New York Toy Fair 2020. We already know that the date, obviously, is February 22nd. So that's the first thing you need to know. Saturday, all day, I'm guessing, you know, across the board, I'm sure we'll see all kinds of stuff. Just just starting probably pretty early, I would, agree, I would imagine. Imagine like 10 to 12 a.m. would probably be, you know, 10 to 12 a.m. It'd be 10 a.m., 11 a.m., or 12 p.m. is around the st time it could start as far as images being leaked online. I'm sure Ringside will be posting. Bill will be posting. The community will be sharing them everywhere, and you guys already know that's going to happen. So uh, I expect it to be sometime in the, like, noonish, probably a little bit earlier, or noonish right after noon is when I feel like all the reveals will start taking place. So February 22nd, have your post notifications on, guys. Turn on my post notifications. Turn on ringsides turn on anybody that you follow that you know covers wwe or wrestling action figures go ahead and turn those post notifications on because as soon as they reveal them they will post it it'll notify you on your phone you can open it up and you will be one of the first people to see it if you don't have an instagram page then i guess you could just wait on me to post up all the news because i'm going to be covering it all day here on the channel we're going to break down everything that we see covering all the figures here and it should be really epic so that's the first thing that we know february 22nd early-ish noon-ish right there going to pop up and we're going to see all those figures. Next up, guys, we do know that a new Target exclusive wave will be coming out, and that will be similar to the Defining Moments and Entrance Grace lines. First reported by the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast and DFreedom30 on Instagram. We talked about this a week ago or so, I think, where we talked about a new wave coming, and I do believe the rumor or the confirmed news was that these will be showed off, or they will be, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get to see what kind of figures these are going to be, or what the series will be. Ultimately, you know, what the details are of that series series in this wave that will be new exclusive to Target. They're obviously going to put the Network Spotlight series on hiatus and then they're going to bring back this line, or not bring back this line, but start this new line up that is going to be in the place of the Network Spotlight series. That is Target exclusive, so we do know that as well. I'm excited to find out what this line is going to be. Again, it's going to be similar to Defining Moments and Entrance Greats according to the source, so hopefully it is a really good series. We don't know if it's going to be a one-by-one -one basis or if it will be a wave set, you know, four or five, six in a wave. Highly doubt it'll be four, five, six in a wave. It'll probably be four at the most two at least or one if we're going you know based on the defining moments interest grace lines but um usually you know those come back back to back pretty quickly there you know uh, defining moments and interest grace were released pretty you know rapid i feel like it wasn't that long between each one of them so if it's like that then it's basically like you know i, I don't know how many you'd call that in a set but it's one figure per time anyways going on guys we also know that we are going to see more details hopefully we're going to see more details we do know we will see them in figure form right there in plastic form the AEW figures, as announced last night when I posted it up, AEW figures will be shown in detail, hopefully. I hope they go into more details about the series, what's expe expected for Series 2, you know, uh, all of that good jazz. I'm expect I'm fully expecting to see Series 2 or at least some prototype images, some, you know, renders or something like that 
up at New York Toy Fair for the AEW line. Maybe we'll get some more info regarding accessories. Maybe we'll get some better shots of them. Maybe, you know, I, I don't know. But I do know that we will see the AEW figures shown. You know, it was already reported that we were going to see them at New York Toy Fair. But then they ended up showing them on AEW Dynamite last night in Atlanta. And they showcased that video on IG. And, you know, the, the sources broke. The images broke. And we shared them all over the place. They were going crazy and everything like that. So I'm excited for this line. I think they're going to be pretty great. I thought the first series that they got posted it up was sick um you know again we don't know all the details so hopefully at new york toy fair we will be getting the full details of all those sets but again uh we do know that the aew figures will be shown because we already know so we knew that coming into it the next thing that we do know guys is that elite series 76 will be shown now this is john cena braun Strowman, lacey evans heavy machinery and christian we already know they're going to be shown off i expect full prototypes or pretty much final products of these guys shown and i don't think we know this for a fact but i'm i'm willing to bet like 80, 90, 5% on it that we're going to see a Fiend Elite figure, at least a prototype. Even if we don't see it in full coloration, I still expect to see the red full plastic version. You know, the red, the green, the, the freaking blue, whatever the hell they put up there. I still expect to see the full head sculpt. I still expect to see, you know, a prototype Fiend figure on the shelf, but Elite Series 76 and some new basics, I fully expect to see that. I, I definitely do expect that, and uh, I think that we pretty much know that we are going to see Elite Series 76 and the new basics. Now, the new basics, I'm sure it'll be whatever. I can't remember the series. Is it basic series 106 or 107? I, I'm kind of behind on my basic series. They kind of all run together because I don't ever get them. So, uh, the basic series, Bianca Belair, wherever Bianca Belair is, those next two or three sets after that is what I would expect to see. So, uh, and, and I'm sure the same thing goes for the battle packs. The battle packs and the basics will probably run together there with the same time as Elite Series 76 because you guys know that uh, around the same time Elite's release, you know, whatever basics and battle packs are around that time they usually put those in there as well I, I think we're on like basic series 107 108 109 i could be wrong about that again but we know we're on elite series 76 and we have battle pack series whatever the hell i don't even know what battle pack series we're on right now but next up, guys, the thing that I do know is I think I heard it from D Freedom 30 is that we're going to see the Top Talents Elites 2020. Now, if you guys remember the Elite Series Top Talents 2020, they did post it up on Ringside. I think it was up for pre-order for like five seconds. They put it up on pre-order and then like a day later or, or something like that, they got completely taken down. We have not heard them since. It's like they kind of went on hiatus like the freaking Hasbros and the, and the Network Spotlight Series over here. They just kind of disappeared. But I think I heard on the grapevine that they are are going to be making an appearance, a re-emergence at the New York Toy Fair 2020 coming this Saturday. If you guys didn't know, in that set, I do believe they changed it. It's no longer AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, and Seth Rollins. They changed it to Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, and Jeff Hardy, which is really excellent. I can't wait to see. I love all four of those guys. I think all four of them could be great. Now, as far as attires go, I fully expect AJ Styles and Seth Rollins to both be WrestleMania 35, and I expect AJ Styles to come with his gold and black vest that he wore at that event where he took on Randy Orton and then I think Seth Rollins will come with the Beast Slayer t-shirt probably the Universal Championship that we got with the deluxe ag deluxe aggression with the ultimate edition Brock Lesnar that sort of muted darker red Universal Championship. I think the Seth Rollins will come with the Beast Slayer cloth shirt, the Universal Championship, and he will be in his red, red, in his gold and black WrestleMania 35 attire. And then as far as Jeff Hardy and Rey Mysterio goes, I mean, that's just a toss up, Brad. I mean, that there's so many damn attires that those guys could be for the Top Town Series 2020. So your, gut, your guess is as good as mine as far as that is concerned. So uh, I don't know. That That's definitely up for debate. I mean, who the hell knows? I think I have some ideas. There's some promo shots of some really cool attires. It just, I, it's definitely going to be modern day attire, so we're not going to get any flashback Rays, flashback Jeff Hardy's. It's definitely going to be a 2019 or 2020 attire, and Jeff Hardy pretty much left in early 2020, so there's only a couple of attires that could be if it's a 2020 attire, which I don't think it would be. It'd probably be late 2019, and so uh, the same thing goes for Rey Mysterio, but both of those guys have so many great attires. It really doesn't matter, and I'm always for their figures, but I fully expect to see the Top Talents Elites, and again, I'm pretty sure we know that because I thought I heard D Freedom 30 say it, or at least I think he told me that. I can't I can't remember. I could be wrong about that. I could be just freaking whiffing like a freaking just, just striking out on this, on this stuff about the Top Talents Elites, but I think that is true. So running it down again, guys, we have the Top Talents Elites 2020, new basics including the Bianca Belair line, and a couple more. I expect 
at maybe see the Street Profits. And then we have Elite Series 76 and possibly Elite Series 77, which I'm very excited about to see the Shirtless Strowman. You got the WrestleMania 35 Cena, if that is the attire they go with. What are they going to do about the Yankees jersey and hat? I'm excited to see what they do about that. And then a Fiend prototype. We also have the AEW figures. Uh, in detail, you know, maybe some more details about that line, what they expect for the future. Maybe we'll get some interviews and stuff like that to see what the hell they plan on doing for the line, maybe with Tony Khan or the marketing stuff over there. So I guess we'll see about that. And then finally, the new Target exclusive line that will be elites that are similar to the defining moments and the entrance grades for the Target exclusive wave. And that is everything we know about New York Toy Fair, including the date and time in which stuff will be uploaded. Again, put on those no those push notifications right there so that you will be up to date on February 22nd. And uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking hyped. We literally don't have that much time until it's here. Tons of figure news coming this weekend. Definitely stay tuned, guys. I'm going to post it all up. We're going to cover all of it. We're going to break it all down, what we think, what's good, what's bad, what's freaking ugly, what's freaking fantastic, and we're going to cover it all here. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.